So if you're getting started with podcasting, then podcast editing is going to be one thing that you need to learn. But with Audacity, it is extremely simple. In this video, I'll show you how to use Audacity to record, edit and export your podcast audio. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to TPU TV. This is Dilip. If you don't know me, then I'm a blogger, podcaster and affiliate marketer. And this is a channel where I share a lot of simple, practical and implementable podcasting tips that you can use to get started with your own podcast. So if you're new to this channel, then you might want to subscribe to this channel so that you stay updated with all of the latest videos that I release. Now on to today's video. If you're new to podcasting, then one of the things that you might struggle with is recording and editing your podcast episode. But with Audacity, which is the most used audio editing platform out there which is free recording and editing a podcast episode is extremely simple so in this video i'll show you how to record edit and export your podcast audio so that you can get started with your own podcast so let's get on to my desktop and see how to do that so when it comes to using audacity for podcasting the entire setup is pretty simple there is not a lot that you will have to do so it all starts with first downloading and installing audacity on your computer you can see here I am on the website that is audacityteam.org. Now something that you might want to keep in mind is that the website URL is audacityteam.org. It is not audacity.org or audacity.com. Just keep that in mind. Don't go to a website which might not be the legitimate website. So I leave the link in the description box below. It is audacityteam.org. Once you are on audacityteam.org, you can see that there will be two options here. It is download Audacity. It will install with no extras. And the other one is Audacity with the free effects and samples. Now, Audacity was taken over by Muse some time back. And since then, they have integrated a lot of the effects from Muse into Audacity, which you might not need if you are recording a normal solo or maybe an interview podcast. So. You can just skip that and only go with Audacity. This is slightly lesser in terms of the size of the file. So you can go with this option, which is download Audacity 3.5.1 or whatever the latest version is. So you can click on that and it'll start downloading the package, which will basically be, you can see here, it is asking me to save the file. You can save the file wherever you want. And once you've saved the file, all that you need to do is just run it click it open and it will take you through a step by step process which you can use to install audacity it will install audacity and all of the associated tools that are required now what are the associated tools i have audacity open here so uh, there is an update available i'll do it later so basically sometime back audacity didn't have the option of exporting your audios as an mp3 and in order for you to do that you had to install something called as a plugin which is a lame audacity plugin that you could install and then only you will be able to export the file as an mp3 player but now the lame audacity plugin is already integrated into audacity so there is nothing that you need to do just download and install audacity and everything will be in there now once you have installed audacity and once it opens this is how the interface will look now there are some initial settings that you might want to just ensure that you get it right I'll leave a link to a video that I had created some time back. You can just watch that video to see all of those settings. But primarily it is all about going to the preferences option here. And once it opens, you will see that uh, there is something called as audio settings in here. You can see here, this is the audio settings. Now this is where you will have to do all of those settings. All that you need to do is just check that the sample rate is at about 41,100 Hertz. And the sample format is at about 32 bit float. The host is MME. So these are some of the basic options that you might just want to keep in mind. You can go and check that video on the audacity settings if you want to look at it. And that is all that you have to do. Once that setup is ready, all that you need to do is just go to audio setup and check that your recording device is the right one. Now, if you check here, my recording device is not selected correctly. So I'll have to go here and select my microphone. This is the microphone that I use. Only then Audacity will detect that microphone and start recording using that microphone. So this is something that is very important. Just ensure that you are checking that. Now that all the settings are done, Audacity is installed. You want to record a podcast. Now something that you might want to keep in mind that Audacity can only record a solo episode. You will not be able to record 
a remote interview episode on audacity but if there are two people sitting in the same room and recording a podcast which means that there are two hosts or if there is a host and a guest sitting in the same room and you're recording into audacity you can always record both of them into audacity at one time i'll create a video to show you how to go about doing that but for this video i'll tell you how to go about recording a solo podcast now if you're recording a remote interview podcast then you will need something like maybe a zencaster riverside or a squadcast i recommend using a zencaster or squadcast riverside is also amazing but if you prefer going with squadcast you don't need to pay for squadcast if you buy descript because squadcast is integrated into descript you can get two tools for the price of one you can just go and get descript pro and you will get squadcast and squadcast is an amazing recording tool that you can use to record your remote interviews so you will need that to record your remote interviews so in audacity what is it that you can do you can record a solo podcast but something that i should tell you right now is that even if you record a remote interview using any of these tools like for example riverside zencaster or for that matter squadcast you might want to edit it in a professional daw or a digital audio workstation which is another name for tools like that of audacity so you might want to import those files into audacity and edit it in order to get a professional audio there are options to edit it online like for example riverside gives you an option to edit it online or you know uh, there are a lot of online tools where you can edit but i would recommend editing it in a professional daw like for example on audacity you can do it if you are recording it using squadcast you can always do it using descript because descript has a lot of professional editing tools you can go ahead and edit using descript but otherwise you can import it into audacity and edit the audio here now if you're recording a solo podcast all that you need to do is you can see here there is a red button out here now all that you need to do is just click on this red button and it will start recording so just to understand the controls out here you can see here this is basically the pause button this is the play button it is grayed out because there is nothing that i can play here you can see here there is a stop button this is a uh, backward button or skip to start button and this is a forward button which will skip to the end of the audio file this is basically the record button and this is a loop button now this is something that you might not use because this basically loops the audio to play again and again now these are some of the other things that are there on the dashboard window which you might want to understand now this is basically the selector tool now this is the envelope tool which helps you to manipulate the wave file this is a zoom in button this is a zoom out button this is a fit selection to the width button this is a fit to screen button this is a toggle shift button so these are some of the things that you just need to know what these are you don't need to get into it because you might not even be using all of these options out here now something that you might want to keep in mind is that this recording level this recording level is somewhere around this range because otherwise the audio will be pretty low so ensure that the recording level is here now if you want to record a solo podcast all that you need to do is just hit this red button here let me do that i click on record and there it starts you can see that the recording has already started and this is how the waveform will look now once you've done with your recording or if for example in the middle of the recording you want to pause your audio all that you need to do is just click on this pause button and the recording will be paused now if you want to resume the recording don't go about hitting the record button again instead just click the pause button once again and the recording once again starts from there and once you've completed your recording if you want to get into the editing mode all that you need to do is just go and click this button and it will stop the recording and you can see here once the recording has stopped some of these buttons have become active which is the play button and this is a skip to the start button and this is a skip to the end button so let me click this and you can see here we are at the start of the audio now you can if you want to listen to this audio and record all that you need to do is just click the play button and you can see that the audio is playing and if you are editing this audio all that you need to do is for example this is the the selection tool if you want to delete this portion you can just select this option and hit the delete button and that goes if you do a control z it is back 
So editing is pretty simple. I have already created a video where I show you how to go about editing your audio episodes. It is a very simple process. You can go ahead and check that video. I link to it in the description box. So that is all that is there to using Audacity to record a podcast. Now, once all of this is done, all that you need to do is just go to export audio. Now you can do whatever it is, mixing, editing, uh, deleting, adding everything in this audio file. Now, for example, if you've already recorded this piece and then you feel that you want to record another piece, all that you need to do is if you want, you can add a new track. Let me say I'm adding a new stereo track. I'll keep the selection here. I'll record once again. You can see here that the recording has started all over from here. And if I stop this, the recording stops. And then I have these two tracks that I can use. I can move this audio track wherever I want and accordingly edit the episode. Now, once all of this is done, all that you need to do is just go to file, export audio, and this will ask for where you want to save the audio file, you can browse and select the place that you want to save the audio file. You can give the file name a, a name. And if you want to export it as an MP3 file, all that you need to do is just select it as the MP3 file. These are the sample rates, the bit rates and everything that will be saved. The quality, if it's a standard quality, it will be slightly smaller in size. If you keep it at the maximum quality, it will be a very big file size and maybe there is a possibility that your podcast hosting company might not support those kind of heavy files. So it is better that you keep it to standard and hit on the export button and it will export. If you want to add metadata to this uh, audio file, metadata is basically details like who is the creator, what is the name of the track, what is the album title and all of that. You can add all of that information in here. Once that is done, just click on OK and then click the export button and the file will be exported to whatever destination folder that you've selected here. And once that is done, you are ready to upload that to your podcast hosting company. So that is how you use Audacity to record a solo podcast. I hope you liked this walkthrough. So that was Audacity and how to go about recording your podcast episode and editing it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found value in it. If you did, then do give this video a thumbs up because that will help a lot many others find this video and benefit from it. And if you're new to this channel, then you might want to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so that you stay updated with all of the latest videos that I release. And if you have any questions, any questions around recording, editing or anything whatsoever about podcasting, you can drop them in the comments box below and I will respond to all of your comments. And if there is a need to create a video around any of the questions that you have, then I'll go ahead and create a video for you. That is all that I have for this episode. I'll be back again the next week with another interesting discussion around podcasting. Until then, keep watching TPU TV and you all have a good rest of the week.